I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Is still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 yeah, with I parades just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics, robotic workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me. Is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? 
How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. It planned performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The Trova's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the Laboratory 8 of the Robinson Hospital facilities. 
Have a nice day. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Killing me. Get away from me! at almost choked to death there give me a hand oh, I didn't see that coming mm. oh. you should be more careful this place is a damn mad house yeah I noticed uh -huh. thanks for the help no sweat Sonny what are you doing here anyway oh just passing through who are you me Zena granny Zena that's all you need to know fine I get it so what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where 
Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Get up, soldier. <sighs> Great. Just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great. Now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. 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 I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. We are ready to depart. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? 
What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. 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 According to biometric readings, this is patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Lost it. Fuck my life. This is usually a harmless geodesic geology robot. <laughs> harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? What the fuck is taking you so long? Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. Don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Something. He's mutated! 
mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Chelas, what are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Son of a bitch! Oh, about time. That fucking pot almost killed me. Kettle's there, help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports. Your beloved Sechimov, son. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry Corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working class will cast off. off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. 
We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. Charles, Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Sechenov say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. Okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This'll come in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> uh, slippery little bitch! <laughs> oh, <Easy. Argo. laughs> it's pretty here. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More futuristic, and on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. For real, that thing. A civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean... Shit, I do, but... I can't remember a damn thing. They seem... different somehow. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Plush. Or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Fuck me running. That polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. Well, there was a minor issue, but Major Nichayev, uh, forgive me. Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov. You're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. 
But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, and honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission, they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? F Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more, but what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here, right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Molotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us. This terrible incident.
Tribute to the Departed. Comrade off. We've got a problem. The Central Hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Falatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the seat of troubles, and by opposing him... You know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you! I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to! Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick uh, and painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. It was a local <sighs> malfunction. A local malfunction. Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> You said you had nothing to do with this. 
<laughs> and you believed him. What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor. I had no choice. A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything. How could you? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Huh? No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. Crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't wait to pay that thing back with interest. <laughs> a dog. Your master sits you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do it. And do it. Charge, okay? What is that? Oh, 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 oh. It's a trap. Son of a bitch. I'm still gonna get you. Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crawl. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, comrade major? Had worse, much worse. He's not getting away from me. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over. There you are, always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She, she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's. What about me? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it is to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House and Bottom. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa.
definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. Wrong. Wrong again. And self regret will be your and self will be your Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Today, in the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing to do with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! <laughs> Comrade Major, you... Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergei, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. expected to see Victor like this, in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. We don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! Son of a bitch. What the? Charles, where's Larissa? She hid before the explosion. So what happened to Stuck? Stuckhausen was knocked into a vat of polymer by the explosion and is now deceased. You hypocrite. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Huh. Some doctor you are, you grenade-tossing bitch. Petrov and Falatova are cut from the same cloth. There can be no doubt about that. Whatever. We gotta find a way out.
That crazy ass pump thing killed that whale. Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. Put it simply, it is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said? That thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once Collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. <gasps> Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. Combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelemay, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Philatoma. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. Unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. So that's Neptune, huh? Looks nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelemy. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing cat and mouse with her. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too, but that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nyachayev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytic center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future, 
By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Dropus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bullshit. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure. Fine. Come on. I won't waste your time. Okay. Lead on. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Is this place a haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. And their bodies are here, under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Keep going. Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why this. would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late! Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neurocontrollers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world! I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot! would never do that. He would. And he will. On Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. The man can be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care? And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then... Why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... you know the rest. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject neurotransmitter. 
Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, Sergeant. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Listen, about Victor, I... Uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but Victor... No other outcome was possible. It, it wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union, and later the whole world. Then you'll see all people stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster! Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Resist, my darling. Resist. Ah, fuck. I'm so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap, now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Voshot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod polymer extension? The Voshod polymer extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dmitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dmitri? Who are you? Comrade Major. This will be difficult to explain. I am- Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters! Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Charidan Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments... on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now, when he went offline. I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just 
a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Did. How can you talk about this so calmly? To me, Chariton Radionovich died a long time ago. I'm done mourning him. And besides, I'm a scientist. We're more impassionate towards death than to muddling one's brains. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures? Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. 
What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. Fucking horseshit. What about the hallucinations? Are they also setting off? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. <sighs> Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. What's the plan, Major? He's waiting for us at Chelome. If we want to stop Sechenov, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive? And then what? And then we play it by ear. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Uh-huh. Paying attention now, dickbag? Major, I... I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called char -less, right? You're char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a char -less to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. So what are we gonna do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen. The fucking gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And... You aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, Comrade Major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy shit. Fuck me. This can't be a... 
We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. No, not now! Not here! Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying planned. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady. What are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done Stand with down, it. lady. Then Sechenov can oh. turn everyone into mindless meatbags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest of Bye, the world. Fine, I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Charitan Zaharov. Charitan? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zena this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is.
Boss? Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Calm Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton, you were supposed to help the boy not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. And it wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You'll use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both, then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements. I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. A living fuck is this? You lousy Sergei, piece you don't of understand. shit. Cheriton's manipulating you! He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Volatova? <laughs> Did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've had uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your uh, job is done. Uh, My boy, get up! Get up! What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's time for it to step aside. Make way for 
the next phase of its evolution. going to do to humanity and collective you should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it evil is an abstract concept and your thinking is limited you are a human a species that will soon be extinct I realized when I stopped being human myself your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Stop, Charity. No. Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body and then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished.